technical difficulties. Oh, here we go. Start broadcast. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, good afternoon, everyone. First, let me thank you all for attending our dental webinar today. Um, I'm just going to do a brief intro on myself and URL and then hand it over to our reps to do the presentation. Uh, for those of you who have not met or spoken to, I do see some new names that I don't recognize in the webinar, which is fantastic. Uh, my name is Christy Saul, and I am the Vice President of Marketing for URL's Health Options Specialty Products Division. And that's a big title, but um, basically what the products I handle include everything under 65 outside of the ACA, such as dental, like we're going to be covering today, disability, cancer, critical illness, accident, gap, indemnity plans, so all those kind of niche products. And I always like to say that, you know, with the products that I market through URL, you can sell them outside of open enrollment, and you're actually going to make money on those as, as well. Uh, and for those of you who may be unfamiliar with URL, we are a family-owned, full-service brokerage firm, and we offer all lines but property and casualty. And we've been in business for close to 30 years now. My dad actually started the business 30 years ago. Um, we work with thousands of independent insurance brokers and also general agencies um, scattered all over the United States. And we're partnered with hundreds of you know, what we re really believe to be the best insurance carriers in the market today. And we do a very distinct divisions here at URL, which include individual health, group health, group ancillary and voluntary, senior products, annuities, and life insurance. And we're all very specialized in what we do. So, you know, if you're an agent who markets a final expense, you don't want to talk to me about that because... <laughs> I don't know. I know enough to be dangerous. That would be my brother Steve and vice versa. So you really have experts in each division that know all the products. So again, we're very experienced in that department. Um, we're also here to help you diversify your product portfolio and help your clients get the best coverage, which also helps you grow your book of business and your commission, your, you know, your bottom line. And we here really want you out doing what you do best, and that's selling. And, you know, we don't want you worrying about case statuses, updates on your pending plans. Um, so we do all the quoting. We do all the case management for you. So we're kind of like your back office, like, again, so you can go out and do what you do best. And, you know, with the changing times in the healthcare arena, which we're all aware of due to Obamacare, um, <clears throat> commissions being cut left and right, I, you know, I like to say now is really the time to diversify or die, so to speak. So if you have written anything with URL, I urge you to give us a try on your first case and let us earn your business. Um, I just want to show you our website really quick. <clears throat> this is our website. It is urlinsgroup.com. And again, you can see all of our different divisions here, um, who we are and what we offer. And again, you can go back on your leisure if you'd like to look at the products we offer. You know, maybe <clears throat> you're set up with all your life products or annuities or ancillary products that maybe we have something that, you know, you're not currently selling and we could help you with. Um, we do have discounted E&O. We do have lead programs. We do live training um, in each of our divisions at least twice a week. Um, and partner rewards. We kind of give back to our agents. Um, so any, a lot of carriers, you know, if you sell their product, they have yearly trips. We do the same thing, but you don't have to sell just one life carrier. So whatever, if you write annuities or life insurance or health, they all have a point system. And our 2016 trip is to Grand Cayman, which is really, really nice. And let me go back to our home page. And again, this will show you all the upcoming training events. And we have a calendar for that. Um, I just want to show you really quickly. And again, we, each of these different divisions, we all kind of, they all have kind of their own separate websites with tons of information. So under the health options, we would go to product information. And these are the products we offer. And again, we're going over the Emeritus Dental today. So if you wanted additional information, I can certainly send it to you. But again, these are all hyperlinks that go to their brochures, uh, comparison grid. but I've talked enough. Without further uh, delay, I'm going to introduce Al Johnson, who is Senior Vice President of Marketing for National Health Corporation, and I'm going to switch the presentation over to him because he is the expert. Oh, everybody is muted, but 
you can type in questions, and then we will, at the end of the presentation, we will get to everybody's questions. So Al, take it away. Okay. Hello, Krista. Can you hear me all right? I can. Okay. Well, everybody, um, welcome to the webinar. We are so happy to be here on the webinar with you. I am here with Mark Hoover. He is the Vice President of Agency Development. Mark? Hello, everyone. Glad to see you guys on the call. Okay. And uh, we were just up there at URL Insurance Agency how long ago? Just uh, in the early spring, I believe. About the early spring, and we had a wonderful time. We got to meet Christy and several people there, and so it is an absolute pleasure for us to be here. Uh, if you ever need to reach us, uh, you can reach Mark at 817-704-7452, and his email is mark.hoover at nhc.net. And if you need to speak with me, my phone number is 817-704-7453, and my email address is al.johnson at nhc.net. What I'm going to do, just to give you just a quick uh, intro as far as who we are and what the companies are and your relationship, a, a couple little compliance things, and then we'll get right into the training on the dental plan. First of all, our, our company, Teamcourt, was started in 2004. It was a sales and marketing company that's located here in Arlington, Texas. We moved here about a year ago. Uh, formerly, we were in Grand Prairie. And we are the marketers for United Service Association for Healthcare. That's the name of the benefits administrator, otherwise known as USA Plus. And Team Corp is an affiliate of National Health Corporation. I have been at National Health Corporation now for 22 years. And Mark, you've been here for 13. For 13 years, so we've been around for a long time. National Health uh, began back in 1966 as Trinity National Life, and in the 70s it became National Health Insurance Company, and then in the 80s it became National Health Corporation, and since then they own multiple different sales companies, and one of those, and our most successful one, is Team Corp. You're looking at our founder and CEO, Paul Wood, and our president, Melinda Kaler, and they are wonderful people. Hopefully one day you'll get a chance to meet them. A little bit about Paul, he's been in the business now for over 50 years. He pioneered the high deductible policy for the self-employed a long time ago, back in the 70s. Uh, he reached one big goal that he set uh, to acquire more than, uh, have more than $1 billion in combined assets. That was a long time goal. He accomplished that back in 1999, actually. And as I mentioned, he was the founder and CEO of National Health Insurance Company. That was a major company in its day that had uh, any doctor, any hospital, anywhere in the world uh, pays 100% of the usual customary after the deductible. And so he's the man that uh, created that, too. It was a major company. He sold that company, though, back in uh, 2008 after having ownership of it for 43 years. And he has had the exclusive marketing contract with our benefits administrator, USA Plus, since 1987. So the next question is, so what are you selling as a Team Corp patient? Well, you're selling benefit plans in United Service Association for Healthcare, or USA Plus. And uh, what USA Plus is, it is a nonprofit association, and it consists of individuals, families, the self-employed, small business owners, and their employees, and they have been, been in business for a long time as well. USA Plus is an association, it's not an insurance company, however, so the way that your clients get access to the insured benefits are is through the group policies which have been issued to USA Plus by top of the line uh, A and best rated insurance companies. So that's the uh, information, the disclaimer we always have to share with everyone so you know what USA Plus is. USA Plus has been around since 1983. I've already mentioned that it's a nonprofit corporation. It is also owned by its members. It became an association, a membership association, in November of 1987. And since that time, they have been selling guaranteed acceptance benefit plans. So they've been doing it for a long time. Uh, they have documented records that show that their members have saved in excess of $100 million combined. And they've been using that for probably about six or seven years. So it's way more than that now. And they also have a charity that donates money. So far, they've given over $7 million to many different charities. And how that money comes is when every time a membership is on the book each month, $1 is donated to the foundation and you give that money away. So that's a little bit about the association as far as so that you can know what you're selling. So you're selling a membership in 
a nonprofit association. If you ever have any questions about USA Plus, you can always give them a call at that phone number, which is 817, I'm sorry, 1-800-USA-1187. You can also find out more information about USA Plus at the website, which is www.usahc.com. Members will also get access to uh, a free magazine called Total Health and Wellness. You're just looking at a few samples of it there. It's a beautiful magazine. It has a lot of uh, articles and some highlights on some of the members, as well as some um, interesting stories on what famous people, such as you see there, are doing to help with health care in America. So hopefully, um, I, I'm not quite sure if they give all the agents a copy of that, but it's a wonderful magazine. USA Plus is Listed with all of these fine organizations, the BBB, they have an um, A-plus rating there, the Arlington Chamber of Commerce, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the Dallas Chamber of Commerce. So we always like to show you a little bit about who we are and what USA Plus is so you can see the longevity and the credibility of those organizations. So what I'm going to do right now is to go ahead and jump right into um, the dental products that we have, which are our number one sellers, uh, even though USA Plus does have uh, some other products, uh, this represents probably at least about 90% of the business right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through one of them uh, completely, and then I'll just show you what the variations are in the other two plans. So let's go through dental care. Uh, the first slide here, I'll summarize these uh, slides because a lot of it, are, actually all of them are in your Teen Corp Agent Center, is exactly what you're seeing here. So you will also have reference uh, to you know, to summarize it there or to review it later. We also have on-demand training that goes through it as well. So the first thing I've already mentioned to you is that um, the group dental insurance benefit uh, uh, comes from an AMBES rated insurance company because they give USA Plus a group master policy. And the, the insurer for the insurer benefits is Emeritus Life Insurance uh, Company or corporation, and of course they have all their own exclusions and limitations in terms of conditions that you'll also find in all certificates. So the thing we want to get to here is the Emeritus Group Dental Benefit for the dental care product. First of all, there is a $70 annual deductible for all the services, and the annual maximum is $2,500. Benefits are paid on a percentage of the usual customary charges, and I will show you what those percentages are. There are no waiting periods for any services uh, for, for this particular product. And clients or your patients, um, your, your clients uh, can go to any dentist that they want to, or they can select uh, between 65,000 provider access locations. The benefit of using the 65,000 emeritus providers is that they will file, that they will file the claims for you. Even though you can go to any other dentist outside of the network and it, and it pays uh, the same way, um, the, the benefit there is that, or, uh, or, or maybe the lack of benefits by using any other ones outside of the network is that they may not file the claim for you, so you might have to pay up front and then uh, get reimbursed by America. So that is how it works. Uh, this chart is straight out of the, out of the brochure. Uh, the benefits are paid as follows. As, as follows. There is a first year uh, incentive coinsurance and a second year incentive coinsurance. And you will see the four different categories, type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4. The first, um, the first category would represent your, your cleanings, exams, sealants, fluorides. The first year is 80% of the usual customary charges. And the second and subsequent years after that would be 100% of usual customary. Uh, uh, move down to type 2, that goes into your limited oral evaluations, all x-rays, palliative treatment. The first year is 60% of usual and customary, followed by the second and following years, uh, that would be 100% of usual and customary. Uh, type 3, endodontics, all periodontics, major restorative services, and anesthesia. First year is 10% of usual customary charges, and I know that someone submitted a question the other day, I believe from uh, from Christy, and I had answered that. And so all the percentages that you're seeing here, this, this is what Emeritus takes. So in that third year, I'm sorry, on that third category in the first year, so that would be 10%. That that is the amount that Emeritus would pay. 
followed by the second benefit period and forward would be 40% of union customer charges. And the fourth one will be fillings, crown repair, and denture repair. Notice the words repair by crown as well as on dentures, so, uh, as well as extraction. The first year, usual and customary charges would be 25%, and the second benefit period and forward years would be 75% of the usual and customary charges. So there are no waiting periods. Uh, as I mentioned on that slide over here, there are no waiting periods. The only thing is that it just pays a percentage of the usual and customary charges based on the things that I just covered for you. Uh, these are the common exclusions that USA Plus has asked me to present on the webinar. And first of all, orthodontics are excluded, and the placement or the purchase of dentures are also excluded. And any coverage for teeth that were missing prior to purchase are also excluded. Uh, of course, you can find everything in the brochure. We also have um, the certificates that you'll also find in your Team Corp Agent Center. The incentive coinsurance, uh, what this does, this uh, helps to, um, uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, I, I jumped ahead. Uh, basically, how, the, how that first year or second year uh, coinsurance works is that everybody starts at year one, and they will only advance to year two only if they have a claim that has been received in year one. So if, if a claim is not received in the first year, then the members would, would continue to stay at that lowest level for that first year. Now, once they file a claim in that first year, then it goes to the second year and following years, as I've already explained it to you. So the first thing you want to do is to Recommend that your clients go and do something uh, during that first year, maybe to have their teeth cleaned or something like that, so they can go ahead and advance to the second year at that time. Okay. The first benefit period, of course, uh, starts on the effective date of the membership and ends on December 31st of that same year. The second benefit period begins on January 1st of the following. Okay, this is what I had jumped ahead of just a, a few minutes ago. The dental rewards program helps to reward uh, all of the clients that basically take care of their teeth and they only use a portion of their annual maximum. And so this is how it works. Uh, well, first of all, this covers the three requirements. First of all, your clients have to go to the dentist but between January 1st and December 31st. Then they have to submit a claim or any claims that happen during that period, uh, they have to submit claims to Emeritus uh, prior to April 1st of that next year. And um, as long as their claims for the current year is less than $750, then this is what happens. So if they meet all three of those requirements, then they will receive an additional $400 in annual maximum for the next year. And as long as this continues to happen, as long as their claims for the that, that um, current year is less than $750, then they will get another $400 that will roll over and, and, and so on. However, the most you can accumulate in the maximum carryover is $1,200. So potentially, uh, their annual maximum could be as much as $3,700 in four years if they continue to visit the dentist once each year, and of course, it's less than $750. Okay, now Emeritus also has the Emeritus Group Vision Service Plan, so it comes from the same company, and your clients will receive a free eye exam once per year per family member from a participating um, vision service plan provider. They also save money on lenses, which is 20%, and uh, frames and other hardware. They can also receive up to a 25% discount on laser surgeries. There are over 32,000 vision service plan providers nationwide, and most people have access to one. And if you or your clients is looking for the, uh, the, uh, a way to be able to search these networks, you can find both networks, the dental uh, network as well as the vision service plan by going to emeritusgroup.com. And of course, this disclaimer here just says that Emeritus is the provider of this insurance. Now, let's move on to some other benefits that are not Emeritus. Now, remember what you're selling is an association membership. So in an association membership, uh, you cannot have only insured benefits. There's a mixture of both insured as well as non-insured. So 
these are some of the other benefits that are in, in the same package. Uh, the one here is called Optum Nurse Line. Uh, it gives your clients access to a fully credentialed staff of registered nurses that they can access 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Very helpful benefit. Members also receive consolidated legal concepts where they can get access to over 20,000 attorneys and 6,900 law firms. And these are the benefits that they receive. First of all, your clients will receive a no initial, no initial consultation fee. Uh, and that comes down to one 30-minute in-office visit per month. If they don't have a will, then the Consolidated Legal Concepts people will help them to put together a will. Or if they have a will and they want somebody to review it, then they will do that as well. Now, this will uh, service is one per, one per membership. Members also get a lot of different benefits from Dignity Memorial Funeral Services, and Dignity Memorial is a nationwide network of over 1,800 different uh, funeral, cremation, and cemetery service providers. And the discount they receive here is a 10% savings on all of the things that Dignity Memorial has. I won't cover them all here, but there's just a lot of different services that are available through Dignity Memorial. And uh, you can, um, of course, as I mentioned to you, that all these things are located in your in your back office. Of course, there's a few uh, disclaimers there. It's not available to people in in, in the state of American, of Maryland, and uh, also not available in Louisiana, and may not be available in New York. Uh, this particular benefit is actually a courtesy that comes from USA Plus, and it's called the USA Plus Benefits Protector. Some people lose their job due to no fault of their own, and if that's the case, uh, they might be concerned about their benefits from USA Plus. Well, in that case, USA Plus will uh, waive their benefits and um, for a period of up to three months for certain terms and conditions apply. But basically, uh, you can't lose the job doing something that you did wrong. It has to be something that's not your fault. Um, there is a 30-day money-back guarantee, not only on dental care, but also on the other two uh, dental plans that I'm actually going to show you. Uh, so your clients will have a 30-day period to review the materials. And some other states say that it might be a little bit longer. It might be um, 30 or 40 days or 60 days. It just depends on, uh, on that particular state. But if someone wants to cancel their membership, there's no problem. They can receive a full refund. All they have to do is to submit in writing to, to USA Plus, and they will honor that. These are the effective dates for dental care, but as well as the other plans. First of all, the membership effective date for dental care and dental access and dental vision plus is the same date of enrollment. And uh, as long as it was enrolled any time between the 1st and the 28th of the month, if the date of enrollment is uh, the 29th, the 30th, or the 31st of that month, then that membership effective date will be the 1st of the following month. Uh, these are the licensing and appointment requirements for dental care, as well as the other products I'll show you. Dental care, uh, of course, requires a resident license, a non-resident license, if you're going to sell in other states, as well as you also have to carry E and O insurance. There is a voice log that is required on all sales, and you will find that voice log script, everything that you have to do. Uh, you will find all of that in your in your agent center. Uh, they may be coming up with another process here soon. So as soon as they have this other process, that will make it easier. Then I'm sure they are going to tell you all all about it. Okay. Uh, you will also find all of the all of the tools and materials that you need to be able to sell the product in your back office. You will find the voice log script. You will find the licensing and appointment requirements. I just covered that with you. Of course, you will also find the emeritus schedule, the emeritus limitations, the application, the brochure, the agent handbook, which is really a membership handbook, as well as the specimen certificate. All those things you will find in the agent center. And of course, this just simply says that uh, these plans will be available from USA Plus. USA Plus is not an insurance company, uh, and they offer both insured and non-insured benefits. And of course, the insured benefits come from AMS Great Insurance Company. Okay, let's move on now to dental access, and this will be really quick. I'm just going to point out what the differences are. It just takes about just a minute or two to cover each one of these other dental plans. Everything that I've already told you about dental care also applies here, about uh, these plans being 
underwritten by Emeritus. Now, even though Emeritus underwrote the first plan, uh, the the insurer benefit that is offered by Emeritus for dental access is different, and these, these are what the differences are. First of all, for dental access, there is a $50 deductible for type 1 preventive services, a $100 deductible for type 2 basic and major. Uh, the maximum is still the same, $2,500. And in this case, there are no more than three deductibles required in the same family in that same calendar year. Um, the benefits here for dental access, they are based on a schedule of eligible expenses. Remember, on dental care, it was just based on a percentage of the usual customer's charges, and there were no waiting periods or anything like that. But on dental access, uh, there is a schedule, and you will find that emeritus uh, schedule in your agent center. Uh, there are no waiting periods on preventive and basic services. And the same thing I've already mentioned to you, that they have a network of 65,000 providers you can go to, and they'll file the paperwork, no problem. Or if you go outside the network, just remember uh, that even though you can do that, uh, that they may or may not file the claim for you, so you might have to be reimbursed. And for dental access, there is a 12-month waiting period for major services. And so that's one of the big differences there. Um, the dental rewards program works exactly the same, so I won't spend a lot of time covering that. Again, the only thing that is different is that uh, the amount of the claims you file for that year to get that carryover has to be less than $500. And if it is less than $500, now you carry over $250 year after year after year until potentially in four years your annual maximum could be as much as $3,500 if you are doing everything um, that I've already explained. Uh, the common exclusions uh, for dental access are exactly the same, so don't need to cover that anymore. Um, it also has vision service planes. Sorry, it's not plain, but business service plan, and that is exactly the same. But as a dental access member, there is one additional benefit that is available here, and that is for LASIK services, only on the dental access plan. Uh, the annual maximum, the lifetime maximum benefit per eye in the first year uh, would be nothing. In the second year, $100 per eye. In the third year, $250 per eye. And in the fourth year, $500 per eye. Okay? Uh, this course, this plan is also from Emeritus, the same disclaimers. It also has Optum Nurse Line. Don't need to cover that anymore. It also has the same consolidated legal concepts that we covered earlier. It also has the same Dignity Memorial Funeral Services that we covered earlier. So no changes there, and it also has the USA Plus Benefits Protector, as we covered earlier as well. The same situation with 30 days money back guarantee, the same effective date, um, the same licensing and appointment requirements for dental access. It also has the 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 voice log, and you'll find everything that you need for that in your in your back office. And as well as you'll find all of the other uh, tools and, and, um, and materials that you need to be able to sell the product. You'll see all of those located in the back office. And real briefly, uh, the, the final product is called the Dental Vision Plus. It's the Dental Vision Plus. I'm just going to go to the stuff that is um, that's a little different here. And even though this is also offered through Emeritus Insurance Company, yet uh, this dental contract is even different from the first two. So they're all different even though that they come from Emeritus. Now with Dental Vision Plus, there is no deductible for your type 1 vendor services. There is a $50 deductible for type 2 basic, the same annual maximum. Uh, there are um, The benefits are paid on an eligible uh, Emeritus schedule, which is even different from the other one that I showed you. So everything is in its proper place, and you'll find everything that relates to each specific product in your agent center. Uh, there are no waiting periods on preventive and basic services. And remember, the same thing applies. They can go anywhere they want to or outside the network. Um, the only thing that USA Plus added to the common exclusions list here is that fourth bullet, the Dental Vision Plus does not include any benefits for major services. So that's the difference there. Of course, you can find everything else in the brochure and in the certificate. The dental rewards works the same as long as it's less than 
$500 and you get the $250 carryover, so potentially in four years it could be as much as $3,500. Um, it also has the same vision service plan, no different. It has the Optum nurse line, no different there. It has the same consolidated legal concepts and dignity memorial funeral services. It also has the USA Plus benefits protector if they lose their job due to no fault of their own. 30-day money-back guarantee is the same. Uh, the effective dates are the same as we've already covered before. Again, all of this is on the, in the slides in the back office and the on-demand, but you'll also see uh, the information stated in your back office. It also has the same licensing and appointment requirements, as well as the voice log, as well as all of the tools and the materials and things you need to sell the product are also located in your agent center. Now, uh, this might be a little hard for you to see, but uh, in your back office, everything that I've covered you uh, covered for you, you might not know. So what are, what are the differences between dental care and dental access and dental vision plus? Well, we have this chart that you'll find um, in your agent center. As you can see there, it shows you all the differences from dental care, dental access, and dental vision plus, as well as the monthly dues. The monthly dues for dental care for an individual is $69 a month. The monthly dues for dental care's um, member plus one is 99 and for dental care member um, and family, two or more dependents, is $139 a month. For dental access, which was the second plan that I covered for you, the individual dues um, is $49 a month. Member plus one is $59 a month, and for family is $69. And the final plan that I covered, the last one, is the Dental Vision Plus. The USA Plus membership dues for an individual is $39 monthly. Um, member plus one is $49, and the family would be $59. So that um, concludes everything as far as all of the dental plans. If you have any uh, questions, uh, of course, you can always go to your website, which is uh, usateencorp.com. And uh, if you want to email the agent support staff, you can send them an email to marketing at teencorp.com. The agent support number is 1-800-237-1910. Uh, the USA Club customer service number is 1-800-USA-1187. The hours of operation for USA Club and Team Corp are the same. Uh, to make everything all nice and convenient for everyone. The hours of operations are um, Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time, and on Fridays, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Time. And so what I'd like to do now is to um, go ahead and uh, turn some time over to Mark Hoover, because I'm sure he might have some things he'd like to add before we turn the time over to Christy again. So Mark? Well, thank you, Al, for uh, the information you provided, and I know it's a lot of information in this short period of time. Like Al said, if you already have a contract with Team Corp, this is all in your replicated site. Uh, I do believe Christy does report these as well for, um, for your purposes as well. If you don't have a contract with Team Corp to sell uh, the memberships through us, uh, I highly recommend you get a contract with us. Uh, but you would need the contract URL, um, and I'm assuming that Christy would be your contact because you would need to get that through them. Um, also, uh, I'm excited to announce that we typically pay a six-month advance on all of our memberships, and in April, we did a limited time for the next three months, uh, a nine-month advance. Well, we extended that yesterday through October 12th. You'll be getting a nine-month advance on these products. Also, uh, with all of the products through uh, USA Plus, you're also getting a level commission, which means after the nine months uh, is up and that membership's still in the books, you will still get that level commission rate that you are on as long as that membership is on the books. Um, also, this is not out yet, but I wanted to give uh, you all a heads up. We're trying to make options for you guys when completing the sale. 
Like Al said, there is an authorization for payment, which we use a third-party vendor, which is VoiceWog, and it's for the purposes of, you know, you agree to the membership dues, you agree to the ongoing and the credit card or uh, banking information provided. We are hopefully in the near future going to have an e-signature as well, where you complete the sale the same as always. Uh, you would just inform the member that they would be getting a link in their email to accept the um, the authorization. So that will be coming around the corner as well as an e-signature. Other than that, uh, these are great products, everyone. Um, the persistency we've seen has been tremendous. Uh, I, I suggest add it to your portfolio. Uh, but there again, uh, I appreciate you all coming on board today, and I believe we're going to turn it over to Christy at this point to finish this up. Yes, thank you so much, both of you. Um, I, I do have some questions in my in the in the queue, so I'm going to read them. But I have a question. Um, you know, I know for online a voice log is necessary, but I and maybe correct me if I'm wrong. I thought we had worked through that. If you're taking a paper application, you don't need a voice log if you're seeing somebody. That is a third option in that you are, your group is one of the, um, not the norm, because most of our, I would say 90% of our agents are doing it over the phone, but yes, you are correct. If you have a paper okay. application, we will accept that. Those paper applications, of course, have to come to us. We've got to enter them. You are correct. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, we and we've got a we've got a mix. I mean, uh, you know, yeah. maybe fifty forty. I mean, a lot of you know of our agents want to do everything over the phone, everything online, and then there's some that just you know they want the paper, and that's that works. Perfectly fine. Okay, and I did want to mention because um, you know, in case you know people you know are doing other things, the level commission is huge because I don't know of any other carrier out there, you know. Especially on the dental product that are, you know, paying level commissions every year the policy is in force. You know, it might be, and the, and your commission levels. And I know there's going to be questions about commissions. Please feel free to contact me um, if you have questions on commissions. I don't like to kind of blurt out a commission level because I might have, you know, an independent agent on the line. I might have an agency with a hundred downline agents. So. I can tell you the commissions are higher than any other dental plan I've seen on the market where they typically pay you X amount first year and then they drop it down to nothing, renewal years. So again, with, with the extended nine-month advance and the great commission, you know, you can really make some money selling these plans in conjunction with whatever else you're selling as well. And the one question was, um, this is for individuals and seniors, correct? And yes, I mean, I, I don't want to speak, but you can sell this to somebody over 65. I am aware of that. Yes. Okay. Now, c can you do this? I had a question the other day because I've been getting a lot of, um, a lot of calls and emails um, after the blast went out, but can you do this on a list bill basis and could an employer pay for it? An employer can pay for it. We typically, we don't have a whole lot of list bills, but they mm -hmm. can do that. But list bills, I believe they don't advance on a list bill. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, next question is, um, are these benefits impacted by prior coverage, meaning if they show credible cover, a, a credible coverage certificate, would that affect, I guess, the weight? time no major no okay um, next question is um, they want to know so you're saying that if you do not get any endodontics claims in year one that in year two they are still at the 10% coinsurance uh, yeah now so, so you're talking about on, on the first plan on dental care I believe so yes yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I, well, I like to back up. Really, what it's saying is that if you don't file any claims at all, it, so it's not just for endodontics, but it, but if if there are no claims filed in that year, whether it's endodontics or anything else, then everybody stays at that very first year. 
Okay. So I guess they, they want to see that you're taking care of your teeth because claims could get ugly if you ignore your teeth. Yes. Okay. Uh, next question I think we covered, but they wanted to know if they, we, there was a schedule. Um, no, is there somewhere we can view the schedule as to what percent are paid in year one and year two according to the dental code? And yes, um, William, I do have that, or they can get that to me, but I, I do have that somewhere on PDF saved. Yes, um, and they, they also have it inside the back office as well. Okay. Uh, next question is in regards to commissions. Do you have to take advanced commissions? No, you absolutely do not. You can get paid as earned. So I know, you know, a lot of agents like advances and and some just want to be paid as earned and you can go that route too. Um, I also had a question, Al, um, earlier today via email um, regarding commissions and um, are commissions only paid via direct deposit or would you cut a hard copy check? You can do a, a live check as well. Oh, you can? Yes. Okay. Okay. And you would, now, if an agent's already with us and they're doing direct deposit, if they need to change that, they would need to contact agent services. Okay. Um, <clears throat> next question is there, and it's up on the screen now, but is there a matrix to compare the benefits of each of these plans? And yes, it's up there. And um, Paul, if you want to shoot me an email, I have... Um, I have all the brochures on PDF that have the paper rates in them. There's three separate brochures, and I also have the grid that they're, they're showing right now. So I can, sh if you shoot me an email and just remind me to send that to you, I will. Uh, next question is, is the rate guaranteed? Year after year? No, that's not guaranteed. Uh, what I can say is USA Plus sees very Sometimes it could be years if they've ever seen a uh, uh, rate increase, but no, that can't be guaranteed. Okay. Because Emeritus would just forward it on to us if there was. Okay. Um, next question is, what are the payment options for clients? Payment options is, of course, uh, credit card, EFT, direct bill. Um, the only thing is when you, they initially come on board, it's going to have to be electronic, whether it be credit card or EFT. Uh, on the reoccurring, the member can call in and say, uh, rebut the direct bill. They can do that. But the initial is always going to be um, immediate. Okay. Is there any, would there be any discount to pay on an annual basis? No. Okay. And they will allow that as well. Okay. Um, and I, and I'm reading these questions. I have questions of my own since I have both the experts on the line. And let, let, correct me if I'm wrong, and let me know if this has changed. I know when we did our first webinar months ago that with the advances, as long as the policy stays in force for 30 days, there's no chargebacks on the advances, or has that changed? No, that you're actually correct. Now, what I will say, if if for some reason, say they get a complaint two months down the road, which is very unusual because we have voice log and everything, or someone files a client complaint saying mis, uh, misrepresentation, and if we, for some reason we ever found that that would be accurate, if we had to cancel the membership back to the effective date, it'd be a chargeback. But you are correct. There's no charge okay. back after 30 days. Okay. Uh, next question is, if someone signs up in November and uses the plan in December, does year two start the following January? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to see. I'm going to wait just a minute to see if there are any other questions come in. Um, I know that... And again, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, you are in every state except for South Dakota, Alaska, and Montana? I believe New York's in there, um, and, and in the state of New York. Yeah, New York. Oh, okay. I thought you guys were in New York. All right. 
we're hoping to um, eventually, but we don't know when that's going to happen. Okay. Um, okay, well, here's a question, because I'm thinking outside the box, and I think I probably know the answer to it, but would it work like maybe a different, like a life policy or disability policy where um, the product isn't approved in New York, but you're writing somebody who lives in New York, but you write them in Pennsylvania? Or probably not, right? I guess I'm not quite following that one. Well, for example, I, mean, I also handle individual disability and like critical illness plans, and I have an agent um, who's you know, in one state where the product isn't approved, but he also writes if, if that if his if his insured lives, say, in New York, and no. the product isn't approved in New York, but it is in PA. If the client came to PA, could you write it? No, it's going to go by the the client's residence. Okay, hey, it's worth it's worth me asking. Absolutely. Um, okay. And while I have you, I'll see if there are any more questions come in. Um, I did get some email questions from some agents who um, could not make the webinar. Um, we are also covered the direct commission check. Um, next question is, um, I'm not sure since they advanced what the interest rate is for advancing. Some companies are 1% monthly. No, what happens with us, and that, that's a good question, if someone's going to take an advance, we pay the nine-month advance, but on that initial nine-month advance, there's a 5% administration fee. That is, that's it. It's a one-time on that first advance. Um, once you go into month 10, 11, 12, you just get the full, your full commission rate. Okay. But there is no ongoing uh, interest rate. All right. Um, if you're unearned, you do not get that 5%. Right. Okay. Um, I, I know that I'm just going to read it and let you guys answer it. The next question, is this product an Affordable Care Act dental compliant for the pediatric dental mandate? Pediatric. It, it, no, it no. does. No. It doesn't have to follow ACA guidelines. Is I guess what they're asking. Yeah, this is not even ACA. Um, uh, I, I'm trying to think of the way they answer this one, because uh, like the the question was, because they do have pediatric for the ACA, but this has nothing to do with the ACA. Correct. Um, and next question is, is there an exclusion for pre-existing conditions? Oh, no, no, there, there are, there are no, um, there are no exclusions. The only thing that, um, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize and go back, uh, here. It just depends on, on the, the plan itself, what I'm, Excuse me, just one moment. Where are we here? Okay. Uh, for example, here on on this is the dental care product. It's just a first year and a second year uh, co-insurance and those types. Uh, there are no waiting periods at all on this one. The only thing that uh, for dental access, remember that there's just a 12 month waiting period on major services, but it has nothing to do with a pre-existing um, conditions waiting period, uh, except for that one exclusion where I showed you that if you didn't have any teeth. So if that is your pre-existing condition, if you didn't have teeth, well, <laughs> then, <laughs> then that's it. <laughs> I, and, um, and I realize that sounds funny, but, um, but sometimes we actually hear that, you know, uh, in trying to, to do a a verification. Somebody says, "Well, I don't have any teeth," and we're like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Next question: um, Does the premium listed include any association fees? I'm, ass I'm assuming. Maybe I shouldn't assume that the association fees are all embedded in that premium that's listed. Okay. Well, 
the, first of all, let me give you a little bit of compliance training, and then I'll answer that question. Um, so remember that since this is an association, the word we want to use are dues, so it's not premium. Okay. But, but I, of course, I understand what, what you're saying. But uh, but <laughs> yeah, each one of these each one of these plans uh, is what constitutes a membership in USA Plus. So so it's not you know these. Um, Dues plus some other association uh, dues. It, it's all it's all included. And I understand what you're saying, Christy, because some uh, companies will have an application fee or administration fee. Mm -hmm. There is no additional. Okay. Um, next question. I know the answer to, but I'll let you guys answer. How do they handle orthodontics? The orthodontists are not covered. Well, I, I have, now I have a, quest, I have a question to follow up to that. Um, so if orthodontics aren't covered, here's my question. If they, say, would get orthodontia work from a participating emeritus dentist, would they get any discount? Uh, that is not guaranteed, but uh, that's something that they could ask that, um, that dentist. But, but okay. as far as the insured plan from emeritus, no, it does, it does not cover that. Okay. Um, but um, I, I, I do want to mention a little bit about that discount. Um, um, that is the other uh, benefit of using one of the emeritus dentists is that uh, they are going to be more in line with fee schedule uh, as far as all the other things. But as far as Orthodontics is not is not covered, but they could ask that provider to see what they can do. Okay. I think we have one more question. Um, if a dentist is not currently in the program, how hard is it for them to get involved in the program, and does it take a long time? Okay, that has nothing to do with USA Plus. That has to do with Emeritus because it, it is the Emeritus network, so they would have to contact Emeritus. And I, I don't know about their process for admitting other providers. Uh, that's, that's nothing that uh, our okay. company is here. Okay. I think maybe, I mean, and I don't know, and I mean, we can check on that, but I know just with, you know, any kind of network, most networks have, um, you know, forms either a client can fill out or a provider can fill out to become part of the network. So. Yes, that, that's true. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that's all the questions. Again, there was a lot of a uh, lot of new names on the webinar. Again, I want to thank you all. I know you're all busy for taking your time to sit in on the webinar today. And again, you know, I, I mean what I say. You please, you know, if you haven't done any business with us, at least just check out our website. And I'm going to give you a login because it is password protected. Um, again, it is www.url. Insgroup.com, like abbreviation for insurancegroup.com, and it enable to get to all the different sites and all our different departments to see, you know, you know what we can do for you, you know, our lead programs, what carriers we offer. You need a user ID of Grand, G R A N D as in dog, Grand, and a password of Cayman, C A Y M A N. Again, that's our incentive trip for our agents in 2016 and all lowercase. And again, you all have my email address because you got the invite from me. So thank you all for being on the webinar today and thank you guys for doing the presentation. I greatly appreciate it. Sure, you're thank welcome. You, Christy. You're welcome. Christy. Okay, everybody have a great, I'm going to see the note, I think. That's all the questions. Everybody have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. I hate to run, but I